Hello guys, welcome to a, another video. Um, and in this video, we're going to go over secure management. Um, and we move on to section 2.0. Look at that, we are almost there. We got done with the 1.0. And now we are moving on to the 2.0, which is gonna have a lot more liability. Um, as you can see right here, we have we are going to configure one, two, three, four, five. Um, we're probably going to do, yeah, we're going to do mo most of the stuff that we're going to be doing is going to be, um, labbing. So let's go ahead and start with comparing inbound and out of band or in band and out of band. Um, and then on another video, I'm going to go ahead and configure that secure, sec secure man network management. And then another video, we're going to have, um, configuring, um, secure access through SNMP version three using ACL. And then another video after that, we're gonna have configure this and then another video to that. So we're going to have lots of videos. We are probably gonna have um, like for the SN, SNMP, we're probably gonna have like two videos for that. Um, this one is probably gonna also be two videos, but this one is not, for the NTP is not gonna be two videos, but we have a lot of more content coming on as you can see. But let's go ahead and start with this compare in band and out of band um, PowerPoint. So there we go, 2.1a secure management. I mean, 2.1, just 2.1, that's what it is. I'm sorry. So we are going to compare in band and out of band. But before we can do that comparison, like before we can compare those two, we first need to know what data plan, control plan, and management plan means or what they are. So first, the data plan refers to all the functions and processes that forward packets or frames from one interface to another interface, right? So that's that's the function of the data plan. And now we have this control plan, which refers to all the functions and processes that determine which path to use, either routing protocol, spanning tree protocol, or LDP, etc. So, so. The control plan, the difference between the data plan and the control plan is that the control plan is the one that tells you which protocol, which running protocol you're going to use, um, like um, ERGRP, let's say. So you're going to use ERGRP to move this packet or spanning tree protocol, which spanning tree protocol we are going to use. Let's, we're going to use um, um, our PVS, what is it, PVR, PVRST plus, um, to move that packet, right? And then after the control plan is done, the data plan is the one that just moves it from one interface to another. That's all the data plan does. The control plan picks which routing protocol, or span entry, or the three, and it determines, it determines the path um, that it's going to take as well. And then we have the management plan um, of the networking device um, which is a key element of a system that configures, monitors, and provides management, um, which gives you, which lets you mon monitoring and configuration services. And there are there are two types of management planes, which is in band and out of band. And on, and what do those mean, huh? In band uses the network such as IP address protocol to configure and manage router or a switcher or a switch. I don't know why I put switcher there or a switch. So when you use in-band, you are using either SSH, telnet, or an IP address, something like that. Something to connect to it, you need to use the network or the ethernet to connect to the router or the switch to manage it. So either using SSH or Telnet, like I said. The advantage of using in-band is that you can configure the routers and switches remotely. The disadvantage of it is that if you're using it, um, if you're using Telnet, the password could be or could get compromised. If you're using out of band though, out of band does not require, um, does not require a network to manage it. So we don't need to connect via like an IP address or anything like that. But the only thing about out of band is that you have to go 
straight to the router and plug in via a console port or a USB or a USB-C that some of them have it now. Um, and the disadvantage of this is that you have to go to every single router, right? So you have to physically be there for you to do that. And the advantage of it is that it is secured and not dependent on the network. So if the network is down, you can just do out of band and go straight into the router and plug in and configure. But if you have a network and you have, if you know the IP address that you could connect to the router or the switch and the switch has SSH or telnet configure, you can just go ahead and remote into it and configure it, right? Or manage it. And here's a picture that I stole from google.com. Thank you, Google or Google Images. And as you can see here, um, the console port, you are connecting straight to the router and this is a outer band um, and then we have this one which is using an auxiliary port and this is also an outer band and then we have a um, an in-band router configuration which you can see they are using it they are using an Ethernet interface right here so this is still an in-band because we're using Ethernet so we're using an IP to connect to the router on the console port, you're not using an IP, but on the Ethernet interface, you are using an IP address, and that's why it's an in-band router. And then we have another one right here, which is an IP interface. We're using the IP network um, to connect to the router remotely. So this is the difference between an out-of-band out um, router configuration and an in-band router configuration. So this is all for this video, a short video. But on the next video, we are going to do some labbing. Um, we are going to do some configure some configuration with a secure network management. So if you guys want to um, go ahead and watch my next video, go ahead and do that. And if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, hit like, and then follow me on Twitter at CCNA Tips. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.